So we are officially in the LLM SEO age and we rank our business, I guess not rank, but we are cited, we are recommended on all these AI search engines. So what's the best AI SEO tool? Well, here's us, that's on ChatGPT. Here's us on Perplexity, searching for best AI autoblogging tool. We are recommended here and here with a nice video. And here on Grok as well, best AI autoblogging tool, well, we rank here. So we are cited, we are recommended in all these, let's call them the three main AI search engines. Now, as of today, as of 2025, there's no real rank tracker for AI search engines. I'm assuming that will be coming soon. Tools like, for example, Ahrefs will most likely soon release an AI tracker. But as of now, that hasn't happened yet. Now, the focus of this video is what you're all asking. How do I get recommended? How do I get cited in these LLMs, in these AI search engines? Now, you can go watch this video. It's like 30 minutes long, going over step by step how we are doing it for our own business. So I'm not just speaking about this, right? I actually practice what I preach. I have a business, I have to make money. And so I have to get my businesses from, in front excuse me, of as many people as I can. Now, I don't think Google's gonna go away, honestly, and I'll tell you why in a second. But if there's this new way of people searching for th stuff, excuse me, in these AI search engines, well, we gotta optimize for that. Okay, so go watch this video right here, which breaks down our strategy step by step. Now, the, the main thing you need to know, right? This video could be like 30 seconds long. The main thing you need to know is that LLMs only have the info you give them. I know this is pretty straightforward, right? Everyone knows this, but it's just the main takeaway here. So give them more info than what your competitors do. That's basically it, right? Again, LLMs, ChatGPT, Perplexity, Grok, they only have, and they can only take from the info you give them. And funny enough, right? They get the info from where people post the info, on their sites, on blogs, on Reddit, on Twitters, on Google as well. Right? So you still have to give info to the AI, right? So people thinking that blogging is gonna go away. Blogging isn't gonna go away, right? You still need to produce information so that these new AI search engines have something to take info off of, right? It's not by, by, by mistake that when I write this right here, they tell me Juno CI is one of the best ones, or here, or here, right? Because I've written this on a blog post somewhere, somehow, okay? For example, here in a perplexity, right? If I just go back here, they're taking the info for who the best autoblogging AI tool is from multiple sources, of course, one of them being a YouTube video I posted. So in this video, I, I talk about um, our tool, why is it the best, what does it do, right? And again, they take the info from there. So people thinking that AI is gonna disrupt all this and we'll only be searching or, or info is gonna be created out of thin air, that will never happen. You will still need to produce info so that these AI engines, these LLMs, have something to take info from and then show it to the user in a more easy, easy to read way. Because the best thing, at least in my opinion, of, of using these AI search engines is that, one, they're very conversational. So if I just say, for example, here, uh, is there any AI tool tailored for plumbers, right? This is the good thing about AI. It's good thing about these engines is that, I, that I, can, I can go back and forth with them, okay? And with Google, not necessarily. Right, so that's that's one of the good things about about this, okay? And also, of course, that they give you the site. The site. They tell you, hey, listen, here's where I found the information. For example, here, right here, you found it from the video, or you could have found it for a blog, for a blog post I've written. It, it could have found it from a bunch of different places. And I'll even show you an example right here. And so right here, it's gonna take info from a bunch of different sources, including right here, our own site, because you wrote a blog post about this specific topic. So don't think you'll need to, you, you're going to have to stop producing content. No, you're still going to have to produce content because, again, these AI agents take info from a bunch of different sources. Now, for example, Grok, well, they put a bit more emphasis and, and, and power on, on posts, posts on their social platform. ChatGPT, the way I see it, they tend to give more uh, weight to the rankings on Google, okay? But it's not just about that. It's all about also about the mentions. But just know that they're not, you're not, it's not that they're biased, but they take infos and weigh info in a different way. Grok, again, values more the social aspect of it from, from X, right? They always give you like a post about it, right? Perplexity uh, takes a lot, inf a lot of info from YouTube. You'll notice that when you search for Perplexity, a lot of the recommendations, right? A lot of the citations will come from YouTube. This is a video, this is a video, I think, from us, we recorded the rec per per recommending our product. And JGPT, again, takes it more from, from Google. The, the rankings on Google, but all of them, right, taking into account the number of citations, right? The more your brand is mentioned all across the web, okay, this is your brand mentions, okay? The more there's brand mentions, there are you know, brand mentions, right? 
the more likely our search engines to recommend, or excuse me, our AI search engines likely to recommend and cite your brand. Because, put it simply, there's more info to grab about your brand. That's basically it, right? That's basically it. That's the number one key takeaway here. LLMs only have the info you give them. So if you want LLMs to recommend your product, well, you gotta give them something to cite. And the way you give them something to cite, well, it's to mention your brand all across the web. Reddit, YouTube, your own site, write blog posts on your own site, talk about your own brand in a good way, in a good manner, because you, you control what's on your site. So have a brand. So for example, here in our, in our, uh, in our site, we of course have a blog page where we talk about our product. We talk about the things we do, things we don't do. We talk about a bunch of stuff that inevitably when these LLMs crawl our site, they'll get 18 pages worth of info of what we do, what we don't do, what we're good at, what we're not good at, okay? So that's the single biggest thing. You gotta act as a brand. And we've seen this like in, in these past years with Google. Google more and more values brands, right? And Google, one of the, one of the ranking factors to rank on, on the classic Google search engine, right? If you search for something on Google, right? There's a top position, there's a guy ranking second, this is a guy ranking third, right? To be number one right here, you have to be a notable brand. You have to be, in Google's eyes, the authority in your niche. How can you build that authority? Well, with backlinks, okay? Which I'll leave a link uh, for this video right here down below in the description. Check it out if you wanna learn about how to build quality backlinks, right? Because a backlink, right, in essence, right, is a link from another site linking back to your site. And if this site is authoritative in Google's eyes, high metrics, high traffic, real traffic, whatever, right? They will see, okay, if I, Google, think this is a relevant site, an authoritative site, if they're linking to this site, well, I will also think this is an authoritative site. That's basically the gist of backlinking. Again, again, we'll go watch that video that I mentioned just seconds ago, which basically teaches this in more depth. But link building and building backlinks to your site is a way for you to tell Google, hey, listen, I'm here. I'm an authority figure in this niche, right? The second thing is basically content, putting out content on your site, on your blog, talking about, if you're, for example, a plumber, talk about plumbing, T plumbing tips, talk about how you fix stuff, how you don't fix stuff, like be the authority in your niche, build the topical authority uh, in your niche and just become the authority so that, Google, so that Google knows, excuse me, when a brand is mentioned, they know, okay, these guys do this and they're the best at it. They have a bunch of backlinks, they have a bunch of content. They have a, a real brand, active social media, a bunch more stuff that makes them the authority in the niche, right? That's how Google essentially ranks sites, okay? And of course, there's a correlation between how well you rank on Google and how well you're gonna be positioned in these AI search engines, right? Because to be positioned well on Google, well, you have to be a brand. You have to be an authority in Google's eyes. And to be an authority in Google, Google's eyes, excuse me, you need backlinks, you need brand mentions, you need to be an actual brand with a lot of, man, with, excuse me, with a lot of mentions, right? And content on, content on your site. So there's a correlation between Google rankings and LLM rankings, okay? I know this is a bit theoretical, but it's just this simple, right? Mention your brand anywhere you can and mention it more than the competition because these guys ranking above us, right? A lot of them are, of course, we're not the only ones here, right? These guys ranking above us, well, they're much more popular than us. These guys are like a VC-backed company with millions of dollars in investments, right? Ahrefs is a billion dollar company, right? Same much as well, these are, like you can, you can buy stock of these two businesses, right? They're, they're huge, but still we're able to compete with them, right? So that's just proof that we were able to make ChatGPT, Perplexity, and Grok think, right? With reason, of course, that we are the best AI SEO tool. Why? Because we produce blog posts, we post content on social media, we post YouTube videos, we brand our site, we sprinkle in those keywords. We have dedicated pages, for example, for AI SEO writer, uh, auto blogging, right? We have all these pages and all these, and you know, all our brand is cohesive saying we do what we do. So that's why we're able to, when these guys crawl our sites, to be recommended here amongst billion dollar brands. So I guess if you had to take one, uh, one good thing from this video, one main takeaway, I guess, is again, and I'm repeating myself for the third time, it's super important. LLMs only have the info you give them, okay? Only, they won't make up any info, okay? They will never do that, okay? And so if you wanna be recommended by them, well, first you gotta put info out there in the universe. And second, if you wanna rank above or be recommended above your competitors, well, make sure you put out more info than what they do. That's it, pretty simple. Now, one way you can put out more info is, for example, using a tool like Journal CI. I'm not trying to promote this, but 
I mean, you can use any, any tool, right? But this allows you to create blog posts, right? This allows you to go out and build blog posts, right? Like this one right here, like build out these blog posts that are automatically interlinked between each other. They have links, they have images, they have videos in them. All this done with AI, super simple, with in-article videos, right? That talk about your brand, talk about what you do. And this, again, will build relevancy and build authority both in Google's eyes, the, the classic search engines, as well as in the AI search engines. So it's all about building content, creating a brand. Then, of course, have active social media, have posts on YouTube, posts on Twitter, like do all that stuff, right? That's just basically marketing. So again, but if you want a bit more in-depth training, go watch this video right here, which basically I'll go over all this stuff right here step-by-step, step, which is like the actual course. It's seven steps applied to our brand. Go watch that because it goes a bit more in-depth. But I just want to record a second video that, just to show you that this is... This is simple, right? Anyone like anyone watching this video can understand that this is simple. It's never easy, but it is simple. So hopefully, well, it was, I was able to help you out. Now, if you want a bit more of my help, uh, I'll leave a link for this down below in the description. You can go to tryjournalist.com forward slash call. And this is where we'll work with you one-on-one -on -one and increase, guaranteed, increase, a, increase your non-branded search traffic from Google over 25% in 180 days. And if we don't, we work for free until we do. So in other words, we, you give us your site, we optimize it, we create content, and we guarantee you'll get 25% more traffic from non-branded keywords, amazing right there, on Google in 180 days, or we work for free until we do. Okay, just go here, I'll leave a link for this page down below. Watch the video, watch, watch the results, we have a bunch of results, there's more which I haven't added here, there's a bunch of results of people actually getting an insane increase in traffic, right? Uh, and then just call, call with me, just, Speak with me, we'll get on a call so I can understand what your business is, what you do, what you sell, what your niche is, so I can see if I can actually help you out. I think most businesses can be helped out, honestly, because we have results in a bunch of different niches. So give it a go, try it out. Again, a 25% increase in non branded Google search traffic in 180 days, guaranteed, or we work for free until we do. That's it. That's the video. Check this out. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.